Okay, now one of the awesome things about MIDI keys is this section right in here, which is you go to your preferences and your audio and MIDI setup, okay? This is where all of the magic happens, okay? So I'm going to go over these in detail because they're very important, and all of the uh, tech support questions we ask always, almost always have to do with the audio and MIDI setup. So we're going to go over this, okay? So I have plugged in for my Motif keyboard a MIDI Man MIDI Sport 2x2, two two, okay? That's my input. And so let's go over this from top to bottom. So the input is the MIDI input port in which you want to display on the key. So right now I have a choice between MIDI Sport because I have a 2x2 two two port on my MIDI so I can display my MIDI sport uh, 2x2 port A or port B let me show you this down here on my audio MIDI setup uh, let's go to MIDI devices this is my MIDI sport so I'm able to have two channels of, of MIDI so those two channels of MIDI separate themselves between port A port B some other keyboards go port 1 port 2 so right here as you can see I have it plugged into port A so it's activated. It's not grayed out. When it's grayed out, that means it's not activated. And I'm using OSX. So as you can see right here, I have my MIDI device. It's all set to go. So we go back to our audio MIDI preferences. So I plugged my keyboard into the MIDI Sport A. So I plug that in A, and as you can see, I can actually play right now on the keyboard from my keyboard. Listen. I don't like that sound, so I want to go to a road sound here. So let's go to the road sound. Okay. So now check this out. I'm about to press my uh my sustain my my sustain pedal. <laughs> One, two. Every time I press it, it presses that. And the cool thing here is right over here, take a look right over here at the pitch bend and the modulation well. When I go up, it goes up and down. When I do the modulation well over here, it goes up and it goes down. Check this out. So right there, you'll be able to see. So if you, if somebody is doing something on a MIDI, you're like, what is he doing? You can actually see the modulation wheels, and it's moving as I move it on my keyboard. Let me move that out the way so you can see it. There you go. So let's go back to our um, preferences, audio MIDI setup. Now, what we see here, so now if I choose MIDI keys, MIDI keys has two ports as well. So if I choose MIDI keys and I hit my keyboard, I can no longer see the keys because it's waiting for a MIDI file to be able to play. Okay? So if I loaded a MIDI file here, MIDI keys, what, what, what the MIDI keys one port says is... I want to be able to play a MIDI file to display on the keyboard but for my MIDI input but if I choose my MIDI Sport A for my keyboard now I can play my keyboard so say I wanna right now I'm I'm receiving MIDI in the MIDI in connection is receiving on all channels I can pick whatever channel I want here okay so if I pick channel 8 it won't be receiving on channel 8 because my keyboard is transmitting on channel 1. So if I said channel 14, it's not going to receive because I set my keyboard out to um, transmit on channel 1. So if you're unsure, just choose channel all. Now the MIDI output port. This is pretty cool. Say for instance, now right now what I'm playing are these 
sorry little sounds on the general MIDI sounds right here, which aren't that good, okay? But I can decide to choose to transmit on MIDI port A on my, um, remember my, my MIDI sport A, I can choose to trans, transmit out on my MIDI port B, or if I decide to transmit out on MIDI keys, then if I load up Logic or GarageBand or Digital Performer or Pro Tools, what will happen is I can choose the MIDI port input on my uh, sequencer software, and instead of playing these sorry sounds off of here, I can play my VST instruments. Okay, I'm going to do a tutorial on that. So, so when you open up your Pro Tools or your Logic, you choose your MIDI port. Your MIDI port will be MIDI Keys Port 1 because I'm transmitting out on MIDI Keys. Once you choose that port, then you'll be able to play the VST sounds on your, um, on your sequencer. So right now, we're going to choose the AU DSL because I want to play the sounds on here. Okay? Now, your MIDI out channel is the channel that you want MIDI keys to transport out on the channel. By default, I will leave it at all. But if you want to be real specific, once again, you can choose the channels here. Um, core audio, very important. On OSX, you would choose your MIDI core audio. And right here on your AU DSL synth, um, on your, if you're running Windows, it will say something like GS Wavetable Sound or something like that. So on your audio driver here, you would choose uh, uh, Core Audio. You can go Core Audio Sunflower. I have another driver here. But I usually choose the Core Audio built-in audio driver. This is very important. Latency is zero. Um, it shouldn't uh, load your processor down at all. And so what I like about MIDI keys is that I can practice with a song, slow it down, speed it up while I'm playing at the same time, and I don't need to hook up my ins and outs. I don't have to go with the XLR from my audio to my mixer. All I have to do is plug in my MIDI port, and I'm ready to practice. So let's play something here. Here's a beat I loaded up. So if I want to practice with MIDI keys with an audio file, I could just practice it right here. Now, if I'm saying, okay, I'm practicing it, but this is a little too fast for me. Let's slow it down to about 70. That's too slow. Let's go about 85. And I can practice along, right with an audio file. Watch this. If it's too slow, let's speed it up to about 110 here. Nah, let's slow it down just a tad. Let's slow it back down to 80. I want to do something here. Right here. Yeah. So that's how MIDI keys work. So you don't have to start plugging in all your instruments and everything. Just take your MIDI keyboard, plug it up, and MIDI keys is ready to go. You can change all the sounds. If you don't like the split keyboard, you go in your preferences. Go to general, just make it all blue. Instead of having it split, make it all blue, and you're back in business, and you're practicing. And let's play it right here again.
that's the beauty of MIDI keys with the uh, import, with the input. 